Good morning children. Welcome to Junior Church Time. Let's look at the 23rd question today from the New City Catechism. I'm going to read the question out and we'll all read the answer together. So the question today is, why must the Redeemer be truly God? Let's read the answer together. That because of his divine nature, his obedience and suffering would be perfect and effective. Let's do that one more time. The question is, why must the Redeemer be truly God? Let's read the answer together. That because of his divine nature, his obedience and suffering would be perfect and effective. Let's listen to Uncle Koshi on what he has to say about this question today. Good morning, children. Now, last week we saw that Jesus is human. But something we must remember that he was also and is also fully God. Now, what does that mean and why is it important that the Redeemer be truly God? Remember, when we sin, we sin against God. So only God can forgive sin against himself. And only God can live up to his own standards, keeping the law perfectly. Jesus had to be God, so his obedience and suffering would be perfect and acceptable. So every demand of God's law and justice would be satisfied for all time through him. That's why Jesus had to be God when he was here. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, that when you were here as our Redeemer, you were perfectly human and perfectly God. You loved us so much that you were willing to be human for us, willing to take our death and live the perfect life we were meant to live. We bless your name for your love for us. Thank you for caring so much. We love you. In your precious name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Uncle Koshi. Children, your activities are going to come to you this week. Don't forget to tell your parents to sign you up for the Exalt Summer Bible Camp later this week. We look forward to seeing all of you there. Remember, stay safe, stay at home, even now.